Well, good afternoon, Canaan kids and families. Hopefully, everybody is doing great on this wonderful afternoon. Hopefully, everybody is doing well. Enjoying this little cooler weather and breeze. I'm just sitting outside on the front porch. Enjoying this afternoon the weather. Yesterday, I mowed the yard, so I had fresh cut grass smell. Um, did some other yard work yesterday. So, <clears throat> just enjoying the day. Hopefully, you and your family are too. Because uh, this Sunday we celebrate a risen Savior. He rose, Je Jesus rose from the grave three days later and he's alive and well. And we, we have something to look forward to, something to be excited about and to praise Jesus about. That our, our Lord is uh, defeated death and is alive. And that's something that we need to share with everyone. That's something that we need to shout to the whole world that's around us and people that can hear us that our God is alive. <clears throat> and so today... As uh, we wait for a couple more people to log into our live and just see what's going on and um, log in, just to, I'm going to share with you our journey group lesson that we'll have on Sunday for Easter Sunday, which is talking about the first Easter. But just to uh, remind our families, we had the family Easter devotionals. You'll have you had one yesterday, and there'll be one posted. Um, RSR on Facebook, but we'll go live on YouTube at eight o'clock on Sunday. And there'll be one on Monday and Tuesday. And also, Kenny Kids, you should have got a postcard in the mail from Brother Chuck, just knowing you know, I've been praying for you, and hope that everybody's doing well and you guys are staying safe. And so, be be on the lookout in your mailbox. There's a postcard that says Kenny Kids on the front, bright, colorful thing. If you got it, just let me know. Hopefully, you guys all did. I know some people got theirs yesterday. They messaged me on Instagram, but if you haven't got, it, let me know and but be looking for that in your mailbox. Well, today, I'll be sharing our lesson from our journey group devotional this afternoon with you. And if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to the Gospel of John. John chapter 19, verse 1 through 20. Or John chapter 19, verse 1, all of chapter 19, and 20, all of chapter 20, or up to chapter 20, verse 10. We're talking about the, the first Easter. And the first Easter is like this. It said, the religious leaders did not like Jesus. And they tried really, really hard to get rid of him. Jesus was arrested and taken to Pilate, and Pilate allowed Jesus to be beaten up. And Pilate told the people that he has no reason to charge him, but the crowd yelled the words, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate tried to release Jesus because he was afraid of what was happening, but the people would not give up. And finally, Pilate agreed to let the people crucify Jesus. Pilate had a sign made for the top of the cross that said, Jesus and Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Well, after this trial, they made Jesus carry his own cross up a hill called Golgotha, called the place of the skulls. Jesus was placed between two other men, one on each side of him. As they put Jesus on the cross, they placed nails in his hands and in his feet and placed a sign on top of, this, top of the cross. And Jesus asked John to care for his mother. In Jesus' Jesus' final words while he was on that cross, gasping for air, grasping to be wounds and everything that happened to him through this time, his final words he said was, It is finished. Jesus died on that cross. But death did not death did not conquer him. In three days Jesus arose from the grave. Joseph and Mary, and Mary Matthea was a follower of Jesus, and he went to Pilate and asked permission to bury Jesus' body. Nicodemus and Joseph took Jesus' body and wrapped it in linen cloths, and they placed his body in a tomb. And there was a stone placed in there with a seal that no one would mess with the body, and two Roman soldiers there to guard Jesus' body. <laughs> well, what happened on the third day? Christ arose from the, rose from the grave. Well, three days later, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. She saw that the stone was moved away. Mary ran to Peter and John, and they all ran back to the tomb together. And they found only the linen cloth they used to wrap Jesus' body with. They didn't understand yet, but Jesus had risen from the dead just as the scriptures promised us. Because Jesus is alive today. And he's alive. He conquered death. He defeated the new grave. He did everything that the scripture says. And he's coming back one day to call, bring all of his children home. And it says that, you know, that, as promised, that Jesus is alive. 
So things I want you guys to remember this Easter season. That even though Jesus never sinned, he took the punishment for your sins and mines. Your sins and mines. The other thing is, Jesus rose from the dead, just as the scriptures promise. God's word is true. God's, God spoke it, it came true. Here's the other thing is, you need to remember, is that Jesus is alive today. People around the world think that, oh, he, he didn't conquer death. He didn't defeat death. The tomb is empty. The cloth was laying there laying there in the tomb where they wrapped Jesus' body with. Jesus rose from the dead. He conquered death. He is alive. And we need to be sharing that with others around us. You can shout it from the, your doorsteps today that Jesus is alive. You can post it on your Facebook and Instagram. Or you can tell all your neighbors that Jesus is alive. Because He's a risen Savior. We serve a risen Lord. And he wants us to share the good news with others and tell that he took all that punishment and beating and being spit on and being whipped and made carry the heavy wooden cross up a road and be laughed at and mocked at and laughed at and people crying over him. He did that all for you because that's how much Jesus loves us. Jesus loved us so much that he did all that for us. And he, and he can do that for every, any, he will do that for everybody, anybody. And all we do is choose to believe Him as a personal Lord and Savior. I'm going to pray for us. Dear Lord, we just thank You for this day, Lord. Thank You for the many blessings that You provide us, Lord. Thank You for keeping us all healthy. Thank You for keeping us all safe. Thank You for keeping us um, safe during this time and, and also the time to just enjoy our time with our families, Lord. But we know this one thing, that You are alive, You are well, You have conquered death. You took all that punishment and beatings and things You went through for me. For others, for those all around the world, you did that for them because you loved us so much, and that we should do everything in our and, and that we have in the air, the air we breathe, and the words that we have to say to share and tell others that you are the risen Savior, Lord. Tell others about how important you are in our lives, Lord, and how much you loved us. Lord, as I should be with all of our Canaan families, Lord, keep them safe and healthy. Watch over them as we celebrate this Easter season with our families, Lord, that we'll just share the greatest gift, and that's the gift of you in our lives, Lord. Have that personal relationship. Maybe there's a family member that they're able to talk to, whether through a phone conversation or through face-to-face -face contact or a text message or a Zoom meeting or anything, that they're able to share the gospel truth that you are alive, Lord, and that you want that personal relationship with us because you loved us so much, Lord. And just ask you to be with each and every family in our church, Lord. Just ask you to just be with our time together. Watch over everybody and keep them safe. In your name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> well, thank you guys. For joining in, hope you guys have an amazing Easter knowing that we serve a risen Savior, that Christ is alive and He is alive. And we need to share that with others today. We need to share that with other people we come in contact with. And we need to share it with anybody. We can share, share it and yell it and shout it out as loud as we can because we serve a risen Lord because Jesus is alive. And I want you guys to remember that we serve a risen Lord. Everything that Jesus said was going to happen to happen to Him and it is the gospel truth. But we also know that we serve a risen Lord and that our job as Christians is to go and tell the world that Jesus is alive. I want you guys to remember that. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather outside today. It's nice and sunny and the wind's blowing. Just enjoy the weather outside. Also, I just want you to know to stay safe tomorrow. Everything you do, Lord, or everything you do in your family's Lord, and just stay safe and be uh, good and just enjoy your time. Remember the reason for the season is Jesus. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you.